Hiya, I hope you're keeping well. Um, this evening, I'm going to show you a really light, fresh, kind of golden bronzy look and then set it off with a nice red lip so that even though it's simple, there's something going on. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit of the Victoria Beckham and Augustina Spader Moisturising Illuminating Primer. So this is really lovely for before your makeup. It's got a little bit of a golden glow to it. And it's going to give you lots of moisture as well as a little kind of radiance under your base. Um, perfect for when you want a makeup that doesn't look too full. Now, I'm using this one, but by all means, whatever um, moisturiser you have at home, if you just mix a little bit of an illuminator into it, you'll still get that lovely glowy effect. Um, I haven't done a video in ages and I kept thinking, oh, I must do a little video. Um, it's one of those that, you know, when you have that first day back at school feeling and I was thinking, well, where will I begin? And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you the kind of thing I've been doing recently, which is I'm trying to just cover the areas of redness where I need it and kind of leave the rest alone. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of CC cream. Now, I usually really go heavy on the pumps with this, but I've just taken about one large pump for now. I'm gonna really start to pop this on just where I have the redness. Cause I do still need the coverage in those areas, but then I'm gonna use pretty much what's left on the brush everywhere else. And it's funny, but I'm so used to putting loads of this on. And recently I've been just trying to use a bit less and see how it'll wear through the day. And actually, I think I just got myself into the habit of putting a lot on, but you don't need an awful lot. So I'm just gonna really gently get this everywhere. Now, another thing I've done today is tried to work out how to use TikTok. If you are on TikTok and you've got any favourite accounts to follow, we please tell me them. Um, I am looking at this tadpole girl. <laughs> she's got all these tadpoles in the garden, loads of animals in the garden. I think she's from County Omar. She's absolutely fab. And then there's this boy called Rob Gray, who is the funniest. I don't know who he'd remind me of. He does impressions of like what your mom is like and... He is just so, so funny. So if you haven't got him, have a little look for him. Rob Gray, I'm sure his name is. And literally, I'm at the very beginning of my TikTok journey. And those two are all I can actually... Oh, actually, I beg your pardon, my friend Sam. Those three. We've got TikTok Girl, we've got Rob Gray, and we've got Samuel O'Byrne. That's who you need to uh, have a look at on his TikTok. So just absolutely... I never know what I'm going to say every day, but they're fantastic. Anyway, just quickly while I carry on... So that was literally one pump of CC cream and I'd usually go in with two or three. I'm going to take a little bit of setting powder on a huge brush all over just to seal that in. This is an illuminating setting powder. So even though I've got like a nice velvety finish, it hasn't taken away any of that luminosity as you can see. But I do want to powder everything down because I'm going to go in with a powder bronzer. Now, love a NARS bronzer. Um, this is a new Paradise Found. It's quite a large pan. Um, if you've seen this, this is the cover of it. it. When it arrived, it has like a gold film on it. And I was thinking, is the gold all the way through? It's not, it's just at the top. Um, and what I've been doing with my bronzer is taking it on a really big brush all over. Now, because my roots need doing I'm actually getting on much better with my bronzer because you can really kind of rub it into that hairline and not worry about it um, going on the blonde. So I just buff this in all around that hairline. Down the centre of the face. And as you can see, this just kind of warms everywhere up without necessarily leaving any lines. Now I've got a light on to film this and I'm by the window. So I feel like it's kind of um, diffusing the, the finish of this, but it really does give you a lovely 
um, glow if you're just looking at yourself in a natural light. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of um, bronzer on this smaller brush. This one's from Il Maquillage. And I'm just going to very gently use that to give a bit more definition through those temples. I think I've actually gone a little bit too far on that one. Maybe we'll avoid those temples in hindsight. But I am just going to take some along here. And I wouldn't say contour as such, but just give a tiny bit more of a chisel to those parts of the face. And then, um, ah, next I'm going to show you. Let me sort this hair out for a minute. It's distracting me. Um, next, I'm going to show you these lovely Trini London creams. Um, I have been using lots of different creams to keep the glow to my skin, but I found that sometimes if I use a brush, it's not picking up quite enough product. That's across all my creams. So I'm literally just going to go in with my finger here and tap that in very light little motions. Now, I can't rub because I don't want to remove any of the coverage from that CC cream, especially because this is where I've got some redness. So I'm literally going to gently press that in to make sure I've built a nice little pop of colour. That was the shade Wigs. And then let me see what highlighter I want to show you. Do you know what I've been going back to a lot? I'm going to take it on that same brush. Uh, this is an old NARS palette. I'm not sure if it's still in the shop. Summer Light. And it's a number of uh, bronze and contour kind of colours. And there's a really golden highlighter in here. Now, because that primer had quite a golden finish to it, I'm going to do the same with some of this powder. And again, using a bigger brush is giving a real sweep right the way across the skin. And that's what I want for this, just an all over glow rather than anything too precise. Now, I do have a bit of texture in that forehead. I would have been tempted to just go up there a little bit with the highlighter, but I think I've got a little bit too much texture at play. So another thing I've been doing um, is avoiding the eyebrow pencil quite so much because I made a really big effort to grow my eyebrows during lockdown. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Glossier Boy Brow, a clear brow gel, through the brows and brush them upwards. You can do this with soap really, really well. If you've got an old uh, toothbrush, give that a go. That'll do a brilliant job. And I'm just gonna brush those up the way. I really love this technique in particular if I've gone for a really bold eye, because I think keeping the brow nice and neutral just helps to let that eye do the talking. And another thing I would say with this boy brow in particular, as you can see, that formula is quite white. And so it can look a bit ashy if you've got a darker brow. Just give it 10 minutes to dry and you won't notice that at all. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of superhero mascara. This is from It Cosmetics as well. This is just everything you want, really. Nice bit of volume, lift, drama, the works. Always lovely to look down into your mirror when you're doing your mascara. So just make sure you've caught every single lash. I'm going to start um, selling sunsets on Netflix tonight. If you've watched that, I would love to hear what you think. I've just finished. Me and my mum have watched all of Desperate Housewives from the very beginning. All eight series. Now, I love Desperate Housewives. So I've seen it an awful lot, but I'd forgotten the later series um, and we just absolutely loved it. We both said today when we woke up, we're absolutely gutted because we only finished it last night. And we were like, what are we going to do now? I think even though I'm going to start selling sunsets, I think the two of us together might start Grey's Anatomy. Again, if you've got anything mother and daughter related that you would recommend. We need a nice series, Desperate Housewives-esque. Okay, nice and fresh and glowy, love it. 
because this is all so soft, one of my favourite things to do with a makeup like this is just put a lovely bold lip with it um, to add the drama. Now this lip combo is, I've been wearing it for ages. This is the Lux Matte Lip Colour from Bobbi Brown and it is a really orangey red. And then a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury, um, do you know something? The name has actually worn off this one. It's her classic red. I can't even think of it now. It's on the tip of my tongue, but Charlotte's red, you know the one, the original, like the oldest one. Red Carpet Red. That's Defo the Lippy. I'll look at the name of this liner. So, this is actually quite cool. And then you get a lovely contrast with the orangey tone of this lippy coming up. Okay, and I'll fill in the gaps there with a bit of lippy. And there you have it. Lovely and fresh and glowy with a nice pop of colour to bring it all to life. Um, and that's pretty much all I've been wearing. I always wear my SPF, obviously. I already had um, my skincare on before I started that. But I've just been keeping it really fresh and um, enjoying it. But that said, I've got lots of new colours and things I want to have a play with over the next few weeks. So um, I'm going to try and have a little experiment. But if there's anything particular you want to see, let me know. I'm defo back in the swinger doing my videos. I'd had a few weeks not doing them. Um, I've just been um, finishing things like my podcast I've really enjoyed doing. I've been doing a few bits of writing. Um, but I'm defo back in the makeup chair now. So any suggestions, keep them coming. And uh, by all means, tell me who I need to be looking at on TikTok as well while I try and figure out what I'm doing on there. All right, have a lovely evening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.